Hey guys, Faxinaru here from Pure Chords. In this video, I'd like to show you something that we've added uh, to the Pure Chords implementation. We've added a server for Ableton Live, uh, for Max for Live, which makes it much, much, much simpler for people that are using Ableton to use this app. Um, you no longer need to use the generic server and virtual MIDI cables or any of that stuff. Uh, that server is still available. You can decide to use that server or the Ableton server, whatever suits your fancy. But if you're an Ableton user, we're going to show you just how easy it is now to use this app with Ableton. And I think that you will agree that this is the way to go if you're an Ableton user. So, um, first of all, uh, the thing that you always need to do, and this is still uh, applicable even uh, with this new server, is you have to set up your network. Um, you can go, if you go on the Pure Towards uh, on uh, the Play Store, there's a link to a little bit about how to generally set up your network. I don't want to talk about this in this video. If you need information about how to set up your network, check out our other videos or look at um, look at the information in the manual and on the Play Store. So, uh, what we've done here, like I said, is we have a new server for, for uh, using the app uh, with Ableton, and it makes it very, very, very easy. One thing that you have to do before uh, you're able to use not just our app, any networking, any app with Ableton is you have to set the network, like I mentioned, but I'll mention one other thing that I do want to show is that you have to let Ableton through your firewall. So, for example, I'm on Windows 7. Everything is pretty much similar. If you're in a different operating system, then just look online how to do it. But on Windows 7, for example, you go into your control panel, system and security, Windows firewall, allow a program through Windows firewall. Uh, you might need uh, to enable admin settings to be able to change it. And then just click uh, to enable Ableton Live Suite or whatever version of Ableton that you got. Uh, I assume you have Suite if you have Max for Live because you need Max for Live for this device. Once you do that, you're okay to go and um, the server will be able to kind of listen uh, to the app through the network. So I have here a, um, an empty Ableton Live project. Um, I've downloaded uh, the server from my website. Again, the link to download the Ableton server is on the page for the app, so everything is really simple. You can find it um, just by following the link uh, on the uh, Play Store. Grab the Max for Life device, throw it on an empty MIDI channel in this example. Give it a second to load, of course, for the, for the Max for Live thing. Once it loads, all we have to do is we have to connect it to uh, a synth in order to play it. That's it. Uh, no other setup necessary. Um, so for example, here I have a synth um, in the scope system. And let's all, we'll show that. And let's also open something from Ableton. Uh, for example, just very simply, I took, uh, took out an analog right here. So on the MIDI channel, we have the Pure Chords server device. You don't even need to click anything. The button on the device just leads to the app page if you need uh, whatever info or if you want to buy the app or whatever, so it just leads over there. Once you just have the device opened, um, you just have to select the MIDI output. So in this case, if I want to hear my scope device or any other external device for that matter, it can be hardware, it can be any of these things over here. As you can see today, I've been testing, so everything is a little bit of a mess. So it will work with the DX200, it will work with Korg uh, ER1, yada, 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 yada. So the scope, um, the scope synth is connected. I've sent uh, the MIDI to scope. Let's open um, the app. And that's it. It's playing. I don't want to go through showing everything and everything, but of course you can uh, set uh, MIDI CCs for the controllers and everything. I just want to show you that it does actually work. And even through this video, through the phone that's filming it, you can see that there's virtually no latency. It's really fast. It's really responsive. Um, so that's for using with external devices. Just for the example, let's just show it controlling the analog. So instead of sending the MIDI to the scope, I'm just going to be clicking here, MIDI to analog. And then I'll be sending it from this channel over here to this channel over here. And now it's playing the analog. Obviously, you can play polyphonically. No problem at all with that uh, with that as well. And the added advantage, of course, other than it being very easy, is now all you have to do is you can just save your project. And then, like any other plugin, you know, in Ableton, um, the Pure Chords Live uh, plugin will already be saved within your project. Once you reopen it, uh, there's no problem. 
one small limitation, it's very small that you have to take into account is, um, at least as of now, the way Ableton works is it won't let you open multiple um, networking devices within one project. So you cannot open, for example, 10 uh, pure chord servers, but you really don't, don't really need to. You know, you just open it on one MIDI channel and send it wherever you need. Uh, another thing is because in Ableton we're opening it directly on a MIDI channel, the the button the well not the button the parameter to set the MIDI channel on the uh, app itself is inactive. It doesn't do anything because it's not really relevant, you know, because you're actually setting the MIDI channel by the fact that you're opening the the plugin on an Ableton MIDI channel strip. So uh, again, it's very 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 easy, very fast. Um, it takes away a lot of the steps in using the generic uh, standalone server. Set up the firewall and just drag the device into Ableton and you're good to go. Um, and again, as always, you can use multiple instances of um, Pure Chords app. Uh, the server inside already listens to um, up to three instances like the generic server and like the scope server and like our other servers. One last thing, um, the server inside in Ableton is set to port 800. If you're an advanced user and for some reason you want to use another port, it's as easy as uh, just clicking it over here to go into edit mode. Again, it will take it a second to load because it's loading the, the full Max application. It's really simple. You don't really need to know a lot. All you need to go is go out of pre uh, presentation mode into patching mode and just go over here where it says UDP receive and change the 8000 to what, whatever other port that you will need. For 99.9999999% of you guys, there's no reason to do that, right? Um, just load port 800 on your app. Uh, sorry, 8000 on your app, and you're good to go. So thanks for watching. Check out our app. It's amazing, guys. You won't be disappointed. Have fun. Make great music. Make great live shows. See you later.